My juggernaut brings all the boys to the yard. What's going on on YouTube? This is Purple Grizzly. I thought I'd give you guys a little bit of some epic intro music. Like, yeah, just to make things intense and epic and get you guys pumped for this commentary. So, let me describe the gameplay to you guys. Uh, I'm playing Drop Zone on uh, Bootleg, I think. I don't even know, like, the game's been out forever. And, I, yeah, it's called Bootleg. I'm sure that, actually. Um, and, yeah, so I'm running around with MP7. I almost get a quad feed here in the beginning. Oh, but denied. That would have been sick, right? I know. Um, but yeah, I'm running around with the MP7. Actually, I end up getting a, a support juggernaut, the one with the riot shield and just the USP. And I go on such a fat rampage, I'm like, okay, I'm posting this because they cannot bring the juggernaut, which is Purple Grizzly, down to his knees. And since uh, a juggernaut is actually a kill streak, why not talk about kill streaks for this commentary? Um, I haven't done that before. I haven't really given you guys my overall thoughts on what I think about kill streaks. Um, there's been a lot of like new confirmed kill streaks in Black Ops 2, and I'll talk about that a little bit. But yeah, so I've been playing Call of Duty online since I started playing online about World at War time, like in the middle of that before Modern Warfare 2. Uh, so I've played that, I've played COD 4 at the same time as that, i played both. Um, and then I got Modern Warfare 2 and Black Ops and so on and so on. And yeah, I've always I've always been a fan of some killstreaks, some killstreaks I just, I hate it with a passion. Um, but I have to say though, I think my favorite killstreak of all time is definitely the Blackbird from Black Ops. Like, I don't know if that's going to be back in Black Ops 2, but that thing was insane. Like, it didn't kill anyone, but... It like shows you where everyone was and what direction they were pointing and going, and it was amazing. It worked so well. Um, but let's start with COD 4. So they had a simple kill streak system, where it was uh, three kills you get a UAV, five kills you get an airstrike, seven kills you get an attack chopper, and you couldn't couldn't do anything different. That was it. It was like that for everyone, and I, I like that. It was it was simple and. Killstreaks have just gotten so freaking complicated. Like Modern Warfare 3, there's different, like three different tiers of killstreaks. There's like 20 for each one, and there's different ways of going about getting them, and it's like it's insane. Um, so I, I am a fan of the simple, the simple way. Um, I think it would have been cool like to switch them out, you know, but not have them like overpowering each other. And with World at War, they had the three, five, seven killstreak system, just like COD 4. Uh, three kills, you gotta a recon plane or something like that, a, uh, which is, you know, essentially a UAV. And then um, five kills and airstrikes, seven kills you had dogs instead of a chopper, which which was cool. Um, dogs came from Bullet at War, not Black Ops. Some people may get that mixed up, I don't know. Depends on how much of a noob you are. Um, and then Modern Warfare 2 rolls around, right? Introduces a whole bunch of sweet new kill streaks, a whole bunch of... Uh, just a bunch of new ones, and you could customize them, and I, I really like that. I think Modern Warfare 2 is definitely my favorite killstreak game, that or Black Ops. I'm not sure yet. There's killstreaks that I freaking loved in Modern Warfare 2. There's ones that I hated. And it's the same with same with Black Ops. There's ones I hated, there's ones I really enjoyed. Now, with Black Ops 2, um, similar to uh, Modern Warfare 3, it's, it's going to be like a a score streak system or something like that and here it's I think it's called a point streak and there it's a score streak and there's there's different things you can do to earn different kinds of kill streaks. I'm really not that like sure of how exactly it's gonna work but I know there's like a little point meter where it's it fills up and then when it's full you get your next kill streak so on and so on. Really similar to Modern Warfare 3. And also, little other thing, um, I really enjoyed how they they put it in where you could actually like choose which kill streak you want to call in first because all the Call of Duties before MW3 like you had to call in the most recent one that you got and then down. And I thought that was stupid. Like how could how could they not freaking do that? Get shanked, son. Um yeah, so I mean I, I really do uh really do hope they do well at the kill streaks. There's a lot of cool ones, the Dragon Fighter which is kinda like the Reaper that looks sick. Um I don't know if dogs are gonna be returning. Personally like, you know how you can customize what killstreaks you have stacked up? I thought it'd be sick if you could, like, 
change, like customize them even more. Like instead of having like attack dogs running around, have like some grizzly cubs for me, like with purple fur. Like how sick would that be? You get to like design them and like color them, and they run around like an ant. You get to choose an animal. Like that would be sweet, right? But I don't know. That's <laughs> that's probably be a bad idea because you know instead of getting attack dogs, people would have a whole bunch of like giant wieners running around just just killing people. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a bad, bad move with uh, the parents, definitely. Might be a little funny, but I'd, I'd actually find that stupid and just retarded. Um, and also, like, like, you get a call in an attack chopper, right? Why not get a, like, do a custom paint job on that chopper? That'd be sick, right? Like, I mean, I don't want some, you know, just BK standard army issue chopper flying around. I want to, like, put, like, a fat, I don't know, paint job on it. Like, some flames, maybe some, like, skulls or some like big old biker dude on the side <laughs> I don't know I think it'd be cool all I'm hoping for is that the kill streaks in Black Ops 2 are just really fun to use really interesting and just not just not a pain in the butt uh, there's one that I think it's called like the orbital space strike I don't even know what it's called but it looks sick it's like you can shoot down like a whole bunch of predator missiles at once looks cool um, I mentioned to you guys that my favorite kill streak so far has been the blackbird um, so yeah, if you want to leave a comment down below, let me know what your guys' favorite kill streak is. Do that, that'd be awesome, because I know we all have a lot of different opinions out there, and I'd like to hear yours. So, uh, yeah, it's been a uh, drop zone commentary, been owning with the juggernaut. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like. I would, I'd really like that. It would help me out. Um, you don't have to, though. It's up to you. So, I will talk to you guys later. Uh, have a nice rest of your day. Life is a garden, so go out and dig it. Peace.